One of the best mics for YouTube is the Rode Wireless Go. Why? Because not only is it portable and reliable, it is also versatile. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly use it with three different devices, whether it be your smartphone, camera, laptop, or computer. And be sure to stick around to the end where I share some tips on how to level up your audio using lav mics. And so, let's go. You gotta just press record. Now, before we hook up the mic to the devices, I do wanna let you know that I'm using the Rode Wireless Go for the audio of this video in its entirety, just so you can get an idea of what it sounds like if you don't already own one, because this is an awesome mic. This mic comes in at around $200 at the time of shooting this video here in the US. And we love this mic here at Think Media. For $200 for a reliable wireless audio solution uh, is pretty good. And I just wanna encourage you, no matter where you are in your YouTube journey, whether you're filming on a smartphone or a camera, or your webcam, that investing in your audio is really important. I would actually beseech you to invest in your lighting and your audio before you get a camera. Why? Because those are two things that actually can go with you as you upgrade to a camera. A lot of times, the camera could be a lot to learn, but leveling up your audio and your lighting can increase your production quality regardless of what camera you're using. So. All that to say, I really want to encourage you to think about investing in your audio and that a mic like this is not a bad idea. Now, before I hook up the Rode Wireless Go to my smartphone or a camera or my laptop, I make sure that the gain on the receiver is set to low. I found that when it's set to medium or high, it can really cause some distortion or just be really loud. And rule of thumb in audio, it's always better to capture a little bit more quiet than louder because you can always turn up audio in post and you can never really salvage or fix audio that has peaked or distorted. And so that's just a rule of thumb. No matter what device I'm putting this on, I'm setting my gain on the receiver to low. So the first thing you wanna do when connecting the Rode Wireless Go to your smartphone is to simply plug it in, turn it on, and see if it works. Now, if that did not work with the cable that it came with, you're gonna to wanna to potentially invest in a TRRS cable, and that is simply a cable that has the three rings versus the two rings. And we'll put links to everything we're talking about in this video, and so make sure to check out the description below. But using a TRRS cable, I found that it started working with my iPhone uh, with the dongle. Another thing, if you have an iPhone, is to not cheap out on that dongle to headphone jack, and that's simply because just trying to save a couple bucks and not getting the OEM might potentially make it harder for you to troubleshoot other issues. And I know for a fact that the OEM dongle actually works with a TRRS cable. Now, I just wanna point your attention to this other piece that you can actually invest in that might work for two solutions versus just one. And that is using a splitter. This uh, right here is a splitter that is around $10 on Amazon. And again, it's a TRRS, but what's cool is that it has a headphone jack and a mic jack in it. And later in this video, I'll show you how to hook this up to a computer or laptop. And so honestly, I would actually just get one of these uh, if you plan on using your Rode Wireless Go for multiple uses. Uh, and so something to look forward to. Again, links in the description below. So an overall quick review when using this with your smartphone is to use a TRRS cable and you'd be good to go. But look into that splitter that I know would solve your issues, at least for the iPhone, because I know I have an iPhone. Uh, the splitter works perfectly fine and the TRRS cable works perfectly fine. But now let's get into the second use, which is using it on camera. And in this example, I'll be showing you how to use it on a Canon M50. So start off by hooking everything up to your camera. I do wanna make sure that the decibel gain is set to low. And then I would check my levels. And the way you can do this is by going into your menu on whatever camera you're doing, go under sound recording. Uh, best practice is to change it from auto to manual and then adjust your record level based off of the way you talk. I found a good place for me is just right around that first notch, and so once it's dialed in, then you're ready to go. Now I do know that Canons have an internal preamp, and if you're using like a shotgun mic, you wanna turn it all the way high on the mic and then as low as possible on the Canon. But in this case, I found that turning the gain all the way up on the road and then putting the Canon on uh, just one notch up uh, introduces some noise and some sort of distortion, just really loud. And so I think this is a good way to dial in your audio. And then again, in post, if you need to turn up the audio, by all means, turn it up. It's just harder to fix damaged audio that has been clipped or peaked. Now, if your Rode Wireless Go is turned on and you don't see any change in the audio levels, uh, maybe your camera has a headphone jack. I've made this mistake before and I've plugged in my mic 
into my headphone jack and not the mic jack. So just double check, you know, a lot of our Sony cameras have headphone jacks. And so I've made that mistake filming before, newbie mistake, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it's okay, just double check that. And also just double check your cable, make sure it's plugged in all the way. But what's cool about the Rode Wireless Go is usually it's just start it up and go. And that's what I love about this mic. But a quick power tip I do wanna share with you is just to simply run an audio test. Every time you're about to shoot a video, uh, save yourself the headache in post by actually, before you even get into the full blown shoot of whatever you're filming, is to just run a decent audio check. And that is just at the level you're gonna talk at, make sure you're not peaking, run it through the computer you're gonna edit on, whatever you gotta do to make sure this audio is dialed. And we do this for everything media video. We set, we shoot a test shot, wanna look at everything, is there trash on the floor? Uh, but ultimately does it sound right? And so just double check by always doing a test run and you'd be good to go. But that's how you hook it up and troubleshoot for your camera. All right, now I have one more tip on how to use this mic with a laptop or a computer. Uh, and then following, I got three ways to improve your audio if you're using a lab. But if you're getting value in this video, you do me a solid, smash that like button. Everybody's saying it's helping the algorithm. I don't know if that's really doing that, but if you're getting value, by all means, let us know by smashing that like button. Thank you so much. And question for you, what do you think about the Rode Wireless Go? How do you think it sounds? What do you think about the value at $200 for a reliable wireless mic? Let me know in the comment section below. And we also made a video on five ways, essentially five hacks on how you can use this mic other than its intended use. So beyond you know just plugging it in and using it as audio, but there are super cool things that you can do with this mic uh, and another reason why I love it. But make sure you hit that video. We'll put it in the YouTube card and in the description below. Now, the last way to use this mic is to use it with your computer or laptop. Now you may be asking, Omar, why would I want to use the Rode Wireless Go on my computer or laptop. And I would say maybe your camera or your point and shoot that shoots great video doesn't have a mic input. You can record your audio onto your laptop or computer and then just sync your audio in post. Another way is if you wanna do voiceover work. You know, this is a great mic to use uh, other than a mic you don't have. And so use this for voiceover work. If you wanna level up your Zoom call or your Google Hangouts, or maybe you're, uh, you like doing lives, and you can level up your mic and maybe you don't have a USB mic or anything like that. This is a great mic to just level up the audio uh, than using no mic at all, right? So the first thing you wanna do is ultimately just hook up your mic to your mic input on your computer or laptop. Now, if you're like me and you have a MacBook, I found uh, that the splitter that I mentioned earlier in this video is literally what unlocks the Rode Wireless Go to be used on the MacBook Pro. Now, if you're using a PC desktop computer or a laptop, you could simply plug in your Rode Wireless Go, the cable that it comes with, no adapters, no TRRS, into your mic input. And usually it's pink, uh, maybe it's red, but the one that's not green, and then plugging that in, turning it on, and going into your audio settings and selecting that as your microphone. And that's how you can use your Rode Wireless Go for your computer or laptop. Now, three tips on how to level up your audio when using a lav mic. Number one, to make sure you're monitoring your audio. The thing about lav mics is they're incredible for capturing uh, voice audio, uh, especially as close as you can to a subject's mouth. However, uh, because they're so sensitive, you know, just uh, the clinging of jewelry, or maybe the rubbing of clothes. You just wanna make sure that that's not happening before you press record. And so you can monitor your audio by hitting an actual test and listening it back, or in real time actually be listening to the audio. Obviously, if you're in front of the camera and you're filming yourself, like I am right now, nobody's around me, uh, I would just make sure in advance doing a test record, talking at the level I'm gonna talk at, and make sure I'm moving to make sure that this moving isn't causing any extra noise, but you know, jewelry can totally mess up uh, audio from something or even like buttons from a shirt or a jacket. So just keep that in mind. And the next tip is to improve your audio simply by avoiding echoey rooms. You can do this by filming in carpeted rooms. Uh, this is my office that has tile, but I have a rug down. I also have an audio blanket, uh, which is, an, is just a power tip. If you have an echoey room and that's the only place you can actually film, then try putting blankets around your, your voice or put blankets around your subject and or pillows to dampen the echo as much as possible. Now, once you got those two tips dialed in, uh, that leads me to my last tip, and that is to edit your audio in post. 
A lot of video editing softwares have great resources for audio. So if your audio is a little echoey, you can use something like a D reverb. Um, if your audio is a little noisy, you can use a denoiser. Uh, you can use a compressor to kind of clean up the audio. But those are my three quick tips. And those are also three ways you can use the Rode Wireless Go with any device. And I hope you got value in this video. But make sure you check out the video on the five hacks with the Rode Wireless Go. If you own a Rode Wireless Go, you'll wanna watch that video. And you can check that out by clicking or tapping the screen. And I cannot wait to see you in another video. Peace.